Good morning, POE. It is Thursday, which means we are one day away from our testing of our compound machine designs. We've done a lot of building, and hopefully you guys did a little bit of uh, documentation work yesterday during the digital day. If you didn't, you're going to have a lot more work to do today, and that's your problem, not my problem. Uh, now, let's see here. That also means that my digital students, y'all are getting ready to be able to judge the projects and you're going to receive documentation minus names and you're going to judge that documentation on this machine design rubric at the bottom of the assignment. So let's go ahead and just go through that in general. The brainstorming ideas, the first one, can be rated from zero to four. Zero means they don't have anything. Uh, one point means they generated one concept and just went with it. Two, three, and four means that they had different levels of idea generation. So they did multiple concept sketches or they had a uh, brainstorming session of you know, more than two ideas and they actually tried to come up with different ways to solve things and they documented ways to solve things. If they did not come up with any proof or evidence that they came up with different ideas and you as a digital student cannot see that, have no mercy, judge them accordingly. Uh, the final design images. So notice that this is um, to produce pictorial sketches or electronic 3D models. Pictures are nice, but what we're looking for here for the final design Im images is our solution development. So we're looking for either a sketch, and remember it doesn't have to be perfect because we are sketching, uh, or a 3D model. Since we all seem to not like on shape, then the chances are you're probably going to be seeing sketches on this one. Uh, the written final documentation communication, there is a template that I have given you guys to be able to uh, write out a um, communication or something like a written write-up documentation. Uh, if they don't have that, don't give them any points for it. So uh, if they don't include details, and this is going to be the big one because we're going to be seeing some reports that only have like one or two sentences. We have like a week plus of doing things and they're like, I built it. You're like, congratulations. No, what did you do? So if, you, if they don't communicate how they built this well, do not score them well because they did not do the work. The design requirements, constructing and testing the solution. So they have to show that they actually fully met the design requirements, which was not hard. The base had to be either on the tabletop or the bottom, and it had to be freestanding, which means they couldn't put weight on it or they couldn't hold it down. So they had to be able to lift up their weight without any assistance in that regard. Uh, teamwork, uh, you should be able to see whether or not a team worked together or not. You can, you can usually tell if one person did the entire thing uh, because it's all written the same. Uh, there's no re there's no remarks on whether or not there was another person working on this. They didn't really show how they broke apart their skills or broke apart the work or the labor. Uh, if they didn't show you that, there's no evidence of teamwork, and you know that would be like one point demonstrated few team working skills. Two points would be demonstrated good team working skills part of the time, not all the time. Uh, three points would be demonstrated good team working skills the majority of the time, and four points would be. Uh, they all work together and settle differences in a positive manner. Uh, the design requirements. So this one is, I believe, one of the design requirements was that we had uh, three simple machines. And let's see here. It should, everybody should be able to have this with exception to um, the calculation of the mechanical advantage. So they should, if they've got sprockets and chains or gears, they should be using gear ratios. Uh, if they are using any of the simple machines that are like uh, levers or wheel and axle, they should be identifying mechanical advantage. And you should be able to get uh, from the documentation those calculations. So that is the first design requirement is the IMA calculations. Um, the second one, mechanism quality and functionality. If it looks janky, if it's wobbly, 
uh, then you don't need to score them super high. Uh, specifically what we're looking at, and janky normally means that it's not necessarily going to function. So at one point, the mechanism rarely functions and the parts are not chosen appropriately. All the way up to four, the mechanism functions consistently and the chosen parts are appropriate. So if you're trying to use parts that aren't necessarily made for what they're doing, uh, and you can tell, obviously, don't give them four points. Um, but, you know, if they just did a couple of redneck uh, construction efforts, you know, they could easily get three points. And, you know, the chosen parts are relatively appropriate. Uh, okay, mechanism two design requirements. Okay, so these are what it's asking for is it's asking for a breakdown of every single mechanism. So we have to identify. So, like, if they used a chain and sprocket, this would go in the first one. If they used a chain and or if they used a gear ratio for the second one, that would go in mechanism two. And if they used a lever for the third one, that would go in mechanism three. So we have to be able to clearly identify their mechanisms. And uh, hopefully in the video yesterday, I was able to show you all a little bit of that. Um, I'll give you all another video whenever we finish construction and whenever we show it, because uh, at least we'll video it Friday. So mechanism one, two, and three. And then the mechanical efficiency. Um, so we have to pay attention. So like one point would be the overall machine barely functioned due to slippage and friction, uh, all the way up to the overall machine lost very little efficiency due to slippage and friction. And then we also have uh, quality and functionality going from the mechanism functions rarely and cannot accomplish the identified task, all the way up to the maximum score the mechanisms function together consistently and accomplish the identified task. These are the things that I'm going to want you guys to score them on, and I'm going to write up a, uh, a a Google Doc where you can actually just type in the numbers from one to four, and you should be able to grade it that way, hopefully. But what we're looking for is we're going to be looking for this rubric to follow, and uh, I will give I will give each digital people two or three groups to look through their project and to grade them accordingly. So uh, make sure you brush up on your mechanical advantage documentation. And I will be grading them too. And ideally, we should align with our scores on how the teams did. And ultimately, that's what we're kind of looking for is, do are, are we all on the same page? OK, so tomorrow we will launch. Uh, and then I will submit out the submissions minus the names, and we will get to scoring. Everybody have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.